Well, I started being crazy about music, I was told, at the age of two and a half. So now, 35 years later, of course I don't really remember that, but no, I do remember never asking myself the question, anything else, despite maybe becoming a football player. So at a certain age, I think when I was nine, I wanted to be a soccer player. So. But <laughs> other than that, no, it was always clear. Music was my thing, classical music to be specific. <laughs> and, um, but actually, seriously, I started playing violin. I mean, I got my first teacher rather late, when I was six years old, six and nine months, so nearly seven years old. Uh, that's when I really started practicing. But uh, before that, since age two until age six, it was my toy. First of all, yes, my parents are musical. And uh, the great thing is that because they're both professional musicians, my mom is a pianist and she is uh, an excellent conducting teacher, and my dad is a cellist. And because they're professional musicians, they never wanted their son to be a musician. <laughs> Not the other way around. And this is why I love music until today. And I feel totally inspired practicing and I consider myself a musical baby, although I'm <laughs> going to be 40 soon. But uh, I am really grateful to my parents that they never ever forced me to practice. And they actually, yeah, I really needed to force them to get me a teacher. But of course, the moment they saw that I'm serious and they saw that I'm really determined to do it seriously, they supported me a thousand percent. And on the other hand, I was always asking those questions. Can I be as good as her or as him and this? And they said, not the way you practice. But they never forced me to practice. So this is sort of a fine line. And um, yeah, for that I'm forever grateful to my parents.